Today, I will show you how to convert an FBX animation to an OBJ file format. I want to import 3D animations into After Effects with Element 3D. However, Element 3D does not accept FBX files. It only accepts OBJ and C4D file formats. I will be using Mixamo.com to download the free 3D animations and Blender to convert the files for this tutorial. Let's get started. First, I will download the 3D animation from the Mixamo website. To have access to the library, you will need to have an Adobe account. If you don't have an account, it's free to create one. Just click on this button here to sign up for free. I already have an account, so I will simply log in. I will add my email and password. And then I will have access to all of Mixamo's asset library. I am going to search for a 3D character. For that, I will select the characters page. A list of 3D character models will appear on the left side of the screen. Mixamo has a large library of 3D characters to choose from. I like this model. To select the 3D model, just click it and a window will appear warning you that any models that you have selected now will be replaced with the new one we selected. That's okay with me, so I will select use this character. Perfect! Our character is now present. I now want to add an animation to this character. For that, I will head over to the animations page and select it. You can see all the different types of animations listed on the left side of the screen. I want a specific type of animation. I want a dance animation. So I will head over to the search box and type in dance. I'll hit the return key and the animation library on the left side of the window will now only display dancing animations. Let me find the type of animation I like. Okay, I will go with this one. I will select it and the animation will load and be applied to our 3D character. However, I see that there are some irregularities. If I preview the animation closely, I can see that the arms are going through the knees. That does not look right, so I will need to fix that. For that, I will go to the model settings located on the right side of the screen. Here, I can see the controls for the arms. This essentially controls how many movements the arm does. Focus controls the direction the head is pointed towards. Overdrive controls the speed of the overall movement. Character arm space controls the space between the arm and the torso of the model. Trim controls how many frames of animation you want to focus on. For our situation, I will adjust the character's arm space. This looks about right. Now, I will confirm and see if that fixes the issue. It looks like it still touches. I'll adjust a little bit more. That looks good now. Perfect. This looks good. When ready, let us go and select the download button. Now, a download settings will appear. Under format, we want it to be FPX binary. Under skin or texture, we want with skin to be selected. Now, recently people have been reporting that some of the models are not downloading with textures, even if they have this selected. I don't know if Adobe will fix this. Under frames per second, I will leave it at 30 frames per second. 
but you can also change it to whatever your needs are. Under keyframe reduction, I will have it set to none. Perfect. Now I will select download. For Mac users, you will get this warning. I am not sure if this also happens to Windows users. I will select allow to begin the download process. Now I will select where I want my files to be downloaded. I will have it saved in my downloads folder. Now that we have that done, I will open up Blender. I am using version 3.2.0. There might be a newer version available, but all should work nonetheless. To begin, I will first need to erase this scene and its content. I will press the letter A on the keyboard to select everything and then press X on the keyboard to erase. A small warning box will appear. I will just confirm by selecting Erase. Now that we have everything cleared out, I will head over to Files, then Import it, and select FBX. Here I will go to where I saved my FBX animation from Mixamo. I saved it in my Downloads folder. I will then select Import FBX. You should see the 3D animation model. You will also see all of the yellow keyframes below where the timeline lives. Now I want my timeline to end exactly where my animation ends. So I will type in 184 frames. For the beginning, I'll leave it at 1. Now it's time to export. I will go to File, then Export, and select Wavefront.obj. I will export files in the same folder where I have the 3D model. I will create a new folder and name it Animation01. I will also name the file Animation 01. I'll double click in the folder I want the exports to go. Now, this is important. Make sure to have the animation box selected. Otherwise, you will only be exporting one frame and not the complete animation. With all that done, I will now select the Export OBJ button. When it's done exporting, you will see 184 OBJ files inside that folder. Each file represents a keyframe from our 3D animation. With these files, we can now go to Element 3D and import our 3D animation. I'll show you how to do that in another video. And there you have it. If you found this video useful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Till the next one.